Hear ID personalized sound, which talks about the Soundcore app. I love that Soundcore has an app for their earbuds, which I will go into full detail inside this video. I see some love. It's love day. I'm yeah, sure man. people love out here on the court. What's going on, YouTube? Nicholas here with Tech Love TV, where we don't discriminate and we believe all tech deserves some love. Okay, so what you want to do after you go and charge these earbuds up completely is download the Soundcore app, which I do have right here. And on the inside of the Soundcore app, as you can see, this is the main screen right here. You have my devices, you have speakers and headphones at the top. At the top left right here, you do have these three bars right here. You can log into your account. And I do believe I do have an account, but I'm not gonna log in for the sake of this video. On the top right, you do have this bell right here, which is just a messages tab and a how-to guide on various items that they wanna talk about. I already have these Liberty Air 2 Pros paired to my mobile device. I do have other devices. I have the Soundcore Trance, the Liberty Air 2s, and the Liberty 2 Pros. So I'm not going to mess with any of that. So let me just go ahead and hit connect on these. It says searching. And then here we go right here. And my battery percentage is uh, pretty low on these. So they were in the charging case. I don't know why they are low right now. But anyways, let me go through this app. So at the top left, you have these four dots right here. And what that does is just bring you back to the main menu. On the top right, you have these three dots right here. It gives you your wear detection. And what this does is when you pull these out of your ears, when you listen to music, the music will automatically stop. You got your touch tone, turn that on and off. You have your update firmware, your quick start guide, and your user manual. So the paperwork in the box, if you don't feel like messing with that, you have that stuff right here as well. You get an image of the earbuds right here and then the battery sign. One thing that I wish that they would have shown about the battery percentage right here is not just show the red or the green as the battery is getting lower or if it's full, fully charged to have an actual number right here. It's always good to show the actual number of your battery percentage. That's just my opinion. And then at the bottom right here, you do have your ambient sound. If I click on that, you have your various different sound modes. You have noise cancellation, transparency mode, and then normal. Even though the bar for me is set at the AirPods Pro level. This comes in as close as possible for that $130 price point, to be completely honest with you. It has been the best pair of earbuds that I've tested that's under $150 when it comes to active noise cancellation, transparency mode, and all of that. Soundcore really, really did a good job on incorporating this technology and keeping the price point very low. So if you don't wanna break the bank and go out and get some higher end Sony, some Apples, some Bose earbuds, definitely give these a try because Soundcore did a really good job when it came to um, all the different sound modes inside of these earbuds. And as you can see, as I hit noise canceling, you have different modes, transport, indoor, outdoor, and custom. And then so with this custom wheel right here, as you can see, as I turn this wheel, the noise cancellation will actually change. One improvement that I would like to have seen on this part right here, Soundcore, is give some kind of number. I mean, maybe it's just me, but my hearing is not the greatest. So when I am going around here, I really can't tell that big of a difference. If you were to like maybe put some type of number or some type of indicator inside of the middle of this wheel to let me know exactly um, what setting I'm actually on when I'm doing the custom. Under transparency mode, you have fully transport and you also have vocal mode and it gives you what these are at the bottom. Now, if I go back, now underneath the bottom, it has your hair ID and equalizer. So you either can press this tab or you can just swipe to get to it. I did set up this hair ID already, but what I'm going to do for this video, I am going to reset that and show you exactly how this thing works. So. Hair ID, this gives you everything that it does right here. It maps out uh, personal hearing sensitivity at multiple frequencies, yada, yada, yada. So I'm gonna hit next. It tells you to select an age range, 30 to 40, that's me. Now I'm gonna run through this test really quickly to let you know to, and to show you exactly um, how this works. Okay, so what you're done with the test, this is exactly the bass, the mid-range, and the treble. This is what they will show you right here, at how they analyze your ear. Now, one thing that's different that I noticed with the Soundcore Hair ID is that they actually want you to tap 
the button as you hear a sound. Um, it's a series of loud tones, uh, very low tones, and they test each ear individually. Now, other earbuds like, um, what are those? Um, what, damn, what earbuds were those? Oh, the Nerophones. So the Nerophones with the over-the-ear and the in-ear earbuds, it runs the test by, the, by itself. So it gives you, it's a series of tones and everything's and it runs it and it analyzes it on its own. While this one, you have to actually go in and manually do it and push if you hear something or not. So I don't know if this test is more accurate than the Nerophone test, but either way it goes, this does actually try to analyze your hearing to give you the best sound possible customized to your ears alone so that's for hear id you also get your equalizer down here at the bottom if you click on that you have a bunch of different um presets right here soundcore signature that's what the one they recommend i don't think i've tested that one out yet i normally went straight to r and b but you have acoustic bass boost you know what you can read it i just scroll down and you can read it feel free to pause the video whenever um and then also you also have custom right here and i was just messing around with this and you can add as many custom ones as you want depending on what type of music you want so they give you a lot of different options when it comes to customizing this sound to your ears and when it comes to sound quality you know what i'll get to the sound quality when i'm done talking about this app so um swipe over this way again and then for the controls right here and one thing that i do love is that the controls are just laid out plain and simple right here it's not something that's hidden that you have to search for inside of the app and they gave you the opportunity to customize these touch surfaces now one thing soundcore i would recommend is that you do have your double tap feature right here, but since some kind of software update, or if you can, I'm not sure if you can, um, send some kind of update to the app and to the earbuds to incorporate a triple tap so that you just have more options. So right now, what I have right here is set up for the double tap on the left one, you go to the previous track, and then you can also change it to volume up, volume down, next, play, pause, voice assistant, or ambient sound, and then also with the right one right here. And then at the bottom, it says hold for two seconds, and on the left one, I actually have that set to ambient sound, and you do get these options right here. So if I switch back over to play, pause, those ambient sound features go away, and there aren't anything that anything else that pops up but for at the bottom you hit ambient sound you do get a different choice of options when you hold it for two seconds to either choose it'll cycle through noise cancellation transparency mode or normal and then obviously you can uncheck these as you want if you don't want these on at all if you don't want them i think you do need to have two at least on so i chose to do all three that's just my uh, personal preference and then for the right one hold for two seconds is play and pause but I will probably not use that one right there at all simply because it does have the auto shut off feature like I said before so when you're playing music you remove them out of your ear and then it'll just automatically pause which I do like about that and yeah that's pretty much it for the app that's everything inside the app I do really love this app it gives you a lot of different options when it comes to customizing the sound quality and tailoring it exactly to how you want your music to sound and that's all I got for you people as always if this is your first time here or if you find any value in this video whatsoever go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and don't forget hit that bell icon so you get notifications on when i drop my latest tech video as always thanks for stopping by the tech love channel my name is nicholas and i'm out peace